Welcome to USA Football. We're the sport's national governing body on youth and amateur levels and the official youth football development partner of the NFL. Our goal is to provide the best resources in coaching and player development. Nurturing this development and helping coaches protect young athletes as they grow with the game is important to us, which is why we've partnered with Riddell, the industry leader in protective football equipment. Riddell football shoulder pads are top of the line. For nearly a century, Riddell has been a dependable teammate, advancing the state of the art in shoulder pad design and putting the most innovative product on the field. With all shoulder pads, a proper fit is essential in order to give young players optimal protection. So regardless of where you learn the game or get your gear, USA Football and Riddell invite you to watch this free shoulder pad fitting tutorial. Determining a player's chest size and shoulder width are the first things to do when fitting a player into shoulder pads. To get an accurate chest measurement, wrap a soft measuring tape around the upper torso of the player, beginning and ending in the center of the player's chest. The number that appears where the measuring tape meets is the player's chest size. Write down the player's chest measurement for future reference. To determine a player's shoulder width measurement, stretch a measuring tape over the natural contour of the player's shoulders, starting from the tip of the left humerus and ending on the tip of the right humerus. Do not measure straight across. The number that appears over the right humerus will be the player's shoulder width measurement. As you did with the chest measurement, write down the shoulder width measurement for future reference. Now that you have an accurate chest and shoulder width measurement, you can give the player the shoulder pads that are best suited for his position. Jack's chest measurement was 32.5 inches, and his shoulder width measurement was 16 inches. We'll take Jack's measurements into account and fit him with shoulder pads that are designed for his size. To ensure that every youth football player is fitted in the correct shoulder pads, refer to the individual sizing charts located in the manufacturer's catalog or on their website. To put on the shoulder pads, slowly bring them down over the player's head, being careful of the nose and eyes. Tie the front laces and then pull the straps to connect the front and back of the shoulder pads. If the shoulder pads come with belts, buckle them. Once fastened, the belts and straps should establish a tight fit in the area of the chest and back without irritating the player's underarm region. A tight fit in these areas will lift and lock the pads into place over the humerus. When locked into this position, the shoulder pads will absorb an impact and direct its energy away from the humerus. Once the pads are on the player's shoulders, make sure there's no pinching or binding in the collar or neck opening. A player should be able to turn his head from side to side without pinching the skin located around the neck opening. Next, determine where the foam padding lies in relation to the tip of the player's humerus. For the best fit, the foam padding should lie at least one quarter inch above the tip of the player's humerus. Make sure there's coverage over the sternum and front upper shoulders of the player. Also make sure there's coverage over the player's scapula and rhomboid. Properly fitted shoulder pads will cover and protect the player's shoulder blade as well as the upper musculature of the player's back. To ensure a proper fit, double check that there's no pinching or binding in the collar or neck opening, that there's at least one quarter inch between the foam padding that extends past the tip of the player's humerus and that there's coverage over the player's sternum, scapula, and rhomboid areas. A proper fit will give the player the best protection and the range of motion he needs for his position. This concludes our tutorial. Good luck this season. Visit usafootball.com for the best resources in coaching and player development.